everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Dub LinkedIn integration. So the first step is going to be to make sure that you have the Dub Chrome extension installed. So that's this little guy right here. You will notice there's a link for it. When you first sign up to Dub, right at the top of the dashboard, there will be a place for you to download the Dub Chrome extension, which will be right here at the top, as I mentioned, right in this Welcome to Dub. And if you can't find it, you can just type in Dub Chrome extension, and it's gonna take you right there to the store where you can download it. Once it's installed and you've logged into it, meaning you've clicked on it at least once, just like I can here, so you're gonna click on it, and then it's gonna log you in like this. If it says log in or sign up, you're not logged into it and you would still need to log in. Once that's done, you will notice that there's gonna be a dub icon right here inside of LinkedIn in a couple of places. The first place you're gonna notice it is in direct messages. So if I go to write a message to somebody, you're gonna see there's a little dub icon right here at the bottom. Now what that's gonna allow me to do is, all I have to do is give it a click, it gives me access to my library of videos. So I can either select an existing one, I happen to have a LinkedIn video that I like to send to people, and there's that. So I click the video, and I can even add the personalization or email for tracking. So I would say, video for Darius, and then I insert that, press OK. And now you can see on this side of things, before I've sent the message, this is what it looks like. It's going to have a little preview message with the link and that personalization text that I've included there. Um, any other message I write, you can see I can't click send yet because I do have to backspace whatever message is there. Um, now I'll be able to send this message once I choose a name. Um, now, so this is what it looks like before you've sent the message. It's just going to show the URL, but once the message is sent, that's when the thumbnail will show up. So you can see here, this is a message that I sent to somebody else, and it includes the URL with the personalization, and then the thumbnail shows up after the message has been sent. So that's how it works in direct messages. The next place is going to be in connection requests. So say if I'm in looking through my network here, find somebody that I wanted to connect with, like this lady right here. If I wanna connect with her, I just click connect, add a note, and you'll see there's a dub icon there as well. And that works the same exact way. Just give it a click, you have access to all your videos. I type in LinkedIn, and then I would send that LinkedIn video through the connection request. And again, it won't show the thumbnail pre before you've sent it, so it's just gonna show up with that pre-populated uh, pre message and the personalization text there. You can you know, delete that message if you want, add something custom, and then go ahead and send it over. So that's how it works in invitations or connection requests. The next and final place is in comments. So as you can see here, right in my newsfeed, there's a little dub icon right along the comment section. This is the one place that it won't show up with an image. So if you do include a video here, it's just gonna be a link to the video page. So that's it as far as how to record and send your videos through LinkedIn either in direct messages, connection requests, and also in comments. Until next time, be safe, guys. Thank you.